Again, how do you get to be a director? You have to be at the right place. I went to Phil McMahon's, and, and, and she called her son out of Vaughan, and uh, I went uh, to, uh, and that's how I got into MGM. And then the next thing was, and then I got into the production office and so forth and became a script supervisor. I left with no job at the end of, uh, uh, the beginning of uh, 1951. I felt I was ready. The next place I would go would be a second assistant director, maybe in about seven or eight years. That would be the progression. And then I would get to be a first assistant director, uh, maybe in five or ten years. And if I was lucky and still functioning, I would get to be a unit manager. And that was your career. That was the progression. In all the years that I was at MGM, George Sidney, whose father was L.K. Sidney, number three man at MGM, and did not help him at all, but George Sidney came out of the shorts department. Freddie Zinnemann came out of shorts department, and, and, and Harold Ch Cl Jess, L.B. Mayer's nephew, they were the three men, and Harold uh, one was a, was a film editor. He did not make it and went back and won an Oscar on cutting a film. Freddie Zinnemann, you know, the famous Freddie Zinnemann, and George Sidney. And George Sidney, incidentally, he just passed away. And uh, I was his script supervisor on Annie Get Your Gun. I have lots of stories to tell about that picture, but that's, that's, those were the only three, and I realized that. They never, no assistant director, no unit manager, no, no one from the production office. And I just awoke one morning, and I want to tell you, it was worse than hitting the beach at Guadalcanal. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> will, will, will I ever work again? There was a script supervisor's meeting about two weeks later, and I sat next to my benefactor, and his name was Robert G. Walker, the same as the actor, you know, same middle initial too, Bob Walker. And he was a script supervisor, and uh, I knew him from the meetings, and he, 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 uh, he worked at Republic Studios. Now I told you, there they went from script supervisor to director. Buddy Springsteen, John English, top Western directors, a uh, couple more, all were script supervisors. And it, the, the women just couldn't handle it, and the assistant directors, uh, the, the, the men who knew, I've just named two famous ones, uh, script supervisors. And, uh, and Roy Rogers and Dale Evans were then gonna start to do Happy Trails, which you know, is legendary now. And uh, he was to direct. He had done a number of uh, uh, pictures with, with Roy and Dale, and they chose him to be his director in television. And I sat next to him, and he said, uh, and he said what are you doing? And I said, uh, I told him the story that I quit MGM. And he said, gee, uh, he said, oh, great, you, you available? You want to be my script supervisor? And I said, oh, you've got to be kidding. He said, we do eight and ten setups a day, and that's lucky, you know, in, the, in our feature films and, and so forth. I think once we hit 12, and he said, I hear you guys do 35 and your westerns and 40. He said, Leslie, this is television. I've just laid out the first day's shooting. You shoot from a one line. Shot one, shot two, shot three, 85 setups. We don't use lights. Everything is with shiny boards. I said, you're kidding. Yeah, he said, 85, 90 setups a day. And you have to move the camera one time with Bill. I said, look, Bob, you're a lovely guy. It's a, and I appreciate it. And God knows I, I could use the work. But uh, come on. I, and I told him I couldn't possibly qualify it. I, I said, you know, I, I wouldn't know where I'm going. He said, I said, you got a wife and three kids. <laughs> Get yourself an experienced Western, you know, someone who can handle it over at Republic. He said, oh, don't worry about it. He said, 
I'll keep you straight. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't. I, I, I said, you've got to be kidding. He said, well, I can only promise you I'll be, as long, I'll be on my feet. I hear you guys, it's long hours. He said, well, that I will hold you to. And this young man just, I, I laid it out on the board, and he said, don't worry about it. And he did. I, I didn't know where I was. And suddenly that was there, the shot, and this and that, and you're in a running shot, and this and that. And I made, you know, did the best I can. And he really, he directed, and uh, he did it all. At the end of the year, uh, there was a hiatus, and uh, I was working uh, back on uh, Four Star Theater with uh, uh, on, on, on a film, and I got a telephone call. And Leslie got a phone call, went to the phone, hello? Oh, hi, Buck, and it was Roy Rogers. And he said to me, are you ready? And I said, yeah, you bet I'm ready, Buck. I said, I call it the last year, because uh, we got up at 6 in the morning. I, I was up at 5.30, a bus left at 6 with 13 of the crew in the bus. There was not even a honey wagon there, nothing. And Roy came and, and Dale with his, and, and uh, the, Pat, Pat drove out Nellie Bell, and that was it. There were, the crew was 13 people, 14 people, and a sound truck, uh, and, and, and the property man had his stuff uh, jammed on it. On, on, that, that was it. And uh, I, I said, yeah, I call it the last year, because I was up at 5.30, and we left, we left at 6 o'clock from Goldwyn Studios, and that camera was turning at 7.10 at Iverson's Ranch, out in Chatsworth. And I said, yeah, I'm ready. I call it the last year. But I'm young, Roy. I got another year. You know, we, had that, we were on that basis then. Except you didn't call him Roy, it was Buck. Everybody called him Buck, that's his nickname. And he said, no, are you ready to direct? And that's all she wrote. I said, uh, I think so, Roy. He says, you're ready. You got the job. I'll talk on you. And, and he hung up, and that's how I got to be a director. So uh, it goes to show you the right place. A fella has faith in you, as, as, Roy, Roy Wa uh, as uh, Bob Walker did. And uh, I had that year, and uh, I used to, uh, Bob Walker would say, uh, Leslie rewrote this a little, and he, he did that all year. You know, I was the kid from MGM, <laughs> the year or whatever. And, and he, everything was Leslie. Uh, so, that's very good, you know, and I always, in, so Bob Walker, you know, he's not with us any longer, but uh, to everybody, so that's how you get to become a director. Somebody's, somebody's your benefactor, and someone's looking, you're at, and you sit down at the right place at the right time. But you, uh, you gotta have the background then to, to back it up, of course, which I, I did because of my education at, you know, at MGM.